Hi, my name is Joe, and I'm excited to show you our Ray product line. Today, we're going to go over how to add devices using the phone app via QR code and Wi-Fi. We're also going to show you how to add devices using the web browser and serial numbers. Select Add Project. We're going to pick No, Scan or Enter SN. After scanning the router, we're going to name it with the name router. Next, we're giving the project the name of Ray E Lab, as well as a management password. The management password is the password that gets put on the individual devices. Next, a Wi Fi name or SSID. We have SSID encryption turned on, so we're going to set a password for the Wi Fi. Next, we select our country. And then a scenario. For this scenario, we will use Office. Now we see that the cloud has detected our router, our switch, and our access point. Select Add Project, and then Yes, Connect to Wi-Fi. The application will prompt us and ask us to power on all of the network equipment for approximately three minutes to allow everything to boot up. Next, the application is asking us to connect to the open Wi-Fi that the device is broadcasting. The application will redirect us to the wireless networks that our phone can detect. From here, we can see the Ray E router. We're going to go ahead and connect to the open SSID. Upon connecting, the application has told us that it detected two devices, a router and a switch. On the next page, we're going to give this project the name of Ray E Lab, as well as a management password. The management password will carry over to the individual devices. Next, we will select an application scenario. For this example, we will use Office. The wizard will prompt us and ask us what our connection is like. So in this case, we are using a single ISP link and we will leave it as DHCP. On the next page, we are going to set up the Wi-Fi for the network. Next, the cloud will deploy the various configurations onto the devices. Next, we're going to log into the Wi-Fi of our new devices. We see that everything was added successfully. You may select Quick Add or click Add, Add Project. Next, we're going to give the project a name. Then a management password. The management password is the password that will be deployed on the individual devices. Then a scenario. In this case, we're going to select Office. Time zone, we're going to set it to GMT minus seven. After hitting next, we're going to select gateway and then next. On the following page, the cloud platform is asking us what the serial number of our RAID device is. So we're going to enter the serial number here and we can also give it an alias. If the device is new, set admin as the management password. Next, we're going to click on our project, and from here, we can see that our router and our switch were both detected. 